All right, and uh, well, welcome back to. Uh, well, it's not my workshop. It's not even my fucking garden, but I'm in it. So it's Shug's garden for this moment in time. Right then, anyway, been back to Little Isle, right? Now, what I bought, I was really excited about because, like, I keep fucking seeing these things everywhere these days. And I seen this and I'm like, damn it, great deal, need to buy one. Problem is, is I didn't have any of what it's for. So, the reason why there's no one in the videos is because I had to wait a wee bit to get the stuff for what it's for, so I can do the thing and make the video, so I can play with it and that. It'll make sense in a fucking second. I promise you, hold on, right, just one. And that's because what I found in the little isle of shite is this bad boy. 40 volt fucking lawnmower. In about it, three year guarantee, I think it's 120 bucks. Totally set, man. It's got a fucking brushless motor in it as well. 50 litre capacity of the old uh, grass and stuff like that. So anyway, I, I didn't have any grass. Look, I've now got grass. Look, it's not very good at this side. But it did all look like that because it's like a fucking bee friendly garden. Way I don't know, there's like vegetables and shit up that side and there's plants and shit there. Anyway, I was not having it. I wanted to do somewhere where I could set the fucking grass. So this is, this is, look. This wasn't here a month ago. This was all just plants and shit. There was trees and stuff. There was a path there. Um, if I find a if I find a before picture, I'll put a before picture in. But I check out my green grass. Fucking loving it, by the way. Making grass is really difficult. Like it's probably actually easier making real grass. Well, I don't know. What what's the, hold on? Right. What would the real grass be and what would the fake grass be? Well, I suppose that would be real grass. But anyway, right, right, well, fake grass. Fake grass would be probably easier to make than real grass. Anyway, getting on for that, right, so, your fucking, your 20 volter, your 40 volter needs two of these fucking batteries. Anyway, let's, uh, let's get in this box and then let's get some fucking, but the old fucking lawn cutting, right, because I'm fucking ganting for a bit of this. I'm like, see that strimmer, by the way, that was too good a deal. So I'm fucking straight into Lidl, right, name here, right. Typical fucking name here there. Next little name here. I went to 20 different fucking littles. No strimmers? So, anyway, if you see the strimmer at the same time you're getting a long one, fucking buy it because that strimmer is an absolute peach deal. Anyway, let's get some open boxing, shall we? So, I'm expecting this to be a no tools event here. So we get a very, what is that? Hard to tell if that's plastic or metal or what that is, that's very flexible. Is that plastic? No, it is metal. So it's a genuine metal blade. There's a book that can go in the box like that. Not using the basket to put this in. Right, well, I won't use the basket. Right, so let's see what the basket's all about. Is that it? Simple as that. Let's get some batteries in it. Right, safety switch of some kind. No 
idea, they pull that out if something's happened. Oops. So much for cutting the fucking grass, that was good. <sighs> Fuck. So then, right, we did get it all cut, no bother at all, however, to do this size and this grass was pretty damn overgrown because you're not meant to cut it for the first month or so. Um, so it was quite tall grass and I would say this was maybe 80 by 80, I think this is probably about 80 square metres area here, right? So it's not massive, but it's not that small. Anyway, that took... Uh, two sets of batteries so it took four batteries in total to do all that it's still running you could still do a bit more than that um but that's where we're at certainly one set did not do it you would need to do a recharge um the thing is well um it's not like a good high quality electric powered one uh you know like one that's like fucking 1800 watt plus uh, where you can just fucking force it through or a good high quality petrol more where you can just kind of force it through and rattle it and you can do it all at your own speed you really need to do it at the speed of the machine itself so we tiny bit slower but it's fine it's not bad at all it does do the job uh, the switch on it's maybe a wee bit sketchy switch itself um, not that impressed with that you do sometimes need to push it down a wee bit next to the uh, contact itself which is just at the right hand side where the metal bends um, the quality of the product itself pretty decent man plastics are pretty good can't guarantee that it's going to last the next 20 years or anything like that, but it's got to do at least the next three years for the guarantee, and that is fine by me. So, quite content. Um, I'm a happy boy. Grass looks alright. Uh, this is, as I said, this is brand spanking new grass, so don't take it on the cut. Also, I just cut any which way and every way, and don't give a fuck. As you can see, there's quite, quite a lot of dings and dells in there, which I've got to need to get filled up. Slowly but surely, I'll get a nice flat bit of grass. As you can see, it's flooding up there as well, which is not very good. But anyway, so part side lawnmower, I would say, was pretty good. It gets a fucking 10 out of 10, I reckon. Get in there. If you see the strimmer, get the strimmer. Very important. Anyway, don't know if you can tell in the video, but I am watching for a fucking bitch. Anyway, like, subscribe and all of that shit. Until the next time, ciao.